hi Kyle Rittenhouse was cleared of all the five count of charges against him today and uh, he basically is now free uh, so I just want to give you some background of the story and what actually happened and why he was actually charged and what kind of the story behind the scenes so uh, you're seeing the screen uh, which kind of tells the story about you know what happened and why he was actually charged um, so he is actually 18 years old uh, and by the time actually when he was charged he was only seven he was 17 at that time uh, and uh, basically what happened um, uh, a couple of days before on the 24th August uh, there was in 2020 uh, there was a gentleman there was a black gentleman I think Jacobs black he was killed by police he was shot seven times uh, and then he died uh, so a result of that there were some uh, riots and you know unrest in the city uh, and that incident also happened in Kenosha uh, in the same area where actually this other incidents happened uh, so uh, then on the 27th August which is four days afterwards um, these uh, couple of people uh, which included uh, this guy Kyle as well and he was only 17 years old uh, they showed up with guns and they just came and they just said that you know we wanted to protect the businesses and you know dealership were there so um, nobody really asked them to protect anything and it really was not their job it's basically police job to you know take care of all the security of the city or the businesses but these gentlemen um, you know took a came out with guns anyways and you know some of them actually went on top of the building just to protect the businesses so you know really um, some civilians shouldn't be just doing it you know out of you know just of the, out of their wishes uh, but they did anyways and uh, this particular gentleman which was uh, Kyle uh, Rittenhouse was one of them as well and they were kind of like policing as well they were just like you know helping out other people as well uh, and uh, so in the story um, what happened was that uh, this guy was actually um, roaming around and he had this you know gun with him uh, and remember he's just 17 years old uh, so what happened uh, was that um, there were riots so I think that the first thing that comes to my mind is that you know it's not really a good idea that if you're carrying a gun and you're only 17 and you're just you know going directly into the riots uh, so that definitely means that you're just inviting some kind of trouble um, so and also one should note that in the riots there were actually some people who were actually carrying gun as well so that was also uh, there so what happened was that before the incidents two hours before the incident somebody actually was actually live streaming on facebook i believe and he shot this video of him and in this video he basically says that you know we are here protecting the businesses and you know he also says that you know somebody pepper sprayed me uh, pepper sprayed me as well uh, so after that what happens is that some guys actually chase him uh, and you know these were just like you know policemen out of nowhere because you know they were just the citizen 17 years old but he just he's policing around uh, so there are people who are actually chasing him uh, so in one instance so there were two shootings uh, in the first incidence uh, he actually shot this person in the head so he was just you know he pretty much died from it uh, and then he just kept kind of you know patrolling so um, I think that if you kill somebody why you are lingering there what are you doing there and why don't you just leave that place I mean who is telling you to control the area to police around in that area so let me show you that video if I can um, so this is the video that uh, right here right here so so this person was indeed lunging at him um, so you know and then he had to act in self-defense so that is kind of given uh, but the thing is that why he was you know go, you know walking there um, with the gun you know among the protesters so what was his business um, so the second question that I want to ask is that once he killed this person so why don't you just leave and you know why why are you still going into that area uh, and after that what happened is that he actually went into the area into that protest and uh, and then people were chasing them again um, so he himself put for he he himself went into the area where they were uh, protesting and uh, he wouldn't leave the place uh, so 
so this is the second incident where actually they were chasing him and this guy was obviously with a gun um, so, and then he never you know fired on him i mean he could have uh, you know he could have fired him but he was not really uh, that type of person that he would kill somebody uh, but this person in this shot you can see that he fell and then this other guy he actually threw a plastic bag at him or just a plastic bag so he shot him and then he got the bullet in the chest so he died and then he also shot this guy let me actually rewind it and show it to you guys so this is where he fell and now he is now and and he shoots this guy and then he shoots this guy also so this guy survived but this one uh, uh he uh, died and then after that he just kind of goes walks there to police um, so I'm not sure how far apart these two incidents are, the, the first shooting and the second, um, but you know, for somebody who is just 17 years old, carrying a gun, uh, and then, you know, policing the area, um, I don't think that's a good idea. And um, uh, from his videos, I think from his Facebook posts, he, he does seem to have a passion with, for, for guns. Uh, so, you know, uh, that's something that somebody who's just who is so immature why he should be carrying a gun and why no one should be stopping him so that's really uh, that's the question that I want to actually you know I, I would like to get answers for but anyways um, I, I don't think that he is completely innocent uh, and I'm happy that you know he got away with the, uh, with the murder charges because he's obviously 18 years old and uh, he probably didn't even know what he was doing uh, but uh, he obviously had some kind of passion for guns and um, you know uh, I, I think that he is guilty but uh, no and, and the reason is that no one should be you know coming with a gun in a dangerous area I think the police would never advise you or any civilian to go carry a gun and go into the in a protest where you know people are supposed some people are carrying gun, guns as well so um, I hope it ended well for him, but uh, then I do think that he wasn't completely innocent. Uh, that's just my opinion. Thank you.